Approximately 300,000 Canadians are affected by rheumatoid arthritis, or RA, and it can lead to permanent joint deformity and disability. The Good Day, Bad Day National Art Contest was designed to not only raise awareness about RA, but it also encouraged artists to show how the disease affected them personally or those close to them. The various pieces of art depict the bad days prior to diagnosis and how those bad days became good days when they received the proper treatment and support. Support. Dr. Carter Thorne is a rheumatologist in Newmarket, Ontario. He says educating Canadians about the signs and symptoms of RA is important, as well as seeking the right resources and treatment options. Rheumatoid arthritis is the most common type of inflammatory arthritis in Canada. 250,000 people have rheumatoid arthritis in Canada. That is the most disabling type of arthritis. We know we call it the crippling arthritis. It's crippling because people between the ages of 30 to 50 will first develop rheumatoid arthritis and if left undiagnosed and untreated, it can result in significant damage to joints. It can also lead to early mortality. That's something people don't appreciate. Though we have no cure for rheumatoid arthritis, we have excellent medications, both traditional medications as well as the new biologic therapies which have given a whole new opportunity for people who have arthritis. In some people, the disease will be mild and then flare up from time to time. Others will see a steady progression and the disease will get worse over time. What people don't realize is that joint damage can occur even in cases where the pain is not severe and it can actually happen in the early stages of the disease. Early diagnosis, early treatment, early disease control is very important for people who have rheumatoid arthritis. We have the tools, we can make a difference. We can improve symptoms, we can reduce joint damage, we can also improve the quality of life. Joanne Naughton from Ontario has been living with rheumatoid arthritis for 40 years. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis 40 years ago when I was 28. At the time, it didn't last too long, a few years, and then went into remission. And then 20 years ago, it came back with a vengeance. When the arthritis came back, um, it affected my whole body, and it was very, very painful. Um, I spent many, many nights when everyone else was asleep with ice packs on my joints crying because it was so painful. In 2006, my doctor recommended that I go on a trial for a new drug. The drug is called Symphony, and from the very first injection, I had very little pain. It has just changed my life completely. I can now walk. I can go to yoga, I can play golf, I can do anything I like. I feel like any normal person. For more information on rheumatoid arthritis, speak with your doctor or visit IHaveOptions.ca. Sherry Demetarko reporting.